What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more Fortnite Champion. This is episode number 16. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far, man. Thank you so damn much for your support. Without further ado, we're going to be diving into Big Bear today to fight against Danny Moore. He's our mandatory title defense, and unfortunately we aren't going to be able to fight Muhammad Ali straight away in this episode. It's kind of sad, because I wanted to face off against one of the greatest of all time, and uh, see how we like set up to him, I guess. But uh, yeah, we're going to fight Danny Moore first. We maybe could get a fight with Muhammad Ali later on in the... Uh, in the episode, I mean, that'd be quite nice, um, but yeah, we're going to dive in, Danny Moore is the first fight, 28-7 with one draw and 12 KOs, not really a power puncher, I do feel like James Lawrence is going to take him out relatively easily, um, I don't really want to overlook anyone, because I remember last time James Lawrence overlooked anybody, he got knocked out in uh, in the 10th round, so I don't really want to look overlook anybody, uh, but yeah, let's see how this dude does, we're actually sparring Mike Tyson, crazy, are these guys friends now after that fight, I don't know, that was an absolute war, and it looks like this one's going to be two. Okay. We beat Tyson once. We need to beat Ali. We need to beat Fraser. We need to beat Tommy Morrison. We need to beat all of these legends in the sport. Can we do it? I have no idea. Uh, but there we go. Muhammad Ali, one of my favourite fighters, man. I mean, I mean, I think he's everybody's favourite fighter. Mike Tyson as well, one of my favourite. Just an absolute beast. Um, but here we go. We get to spar him again here, man. Can we beat him again <laughs> in the gym? Mad respect for Mike Tyson, man. He's a beast. Here we go, James Lawrence using that head movement nicely there. So I'm not seeing many heavyweights like Klitschko, I'm not seeing Evander Holyfield, I'm not seeing Lennox Lewis, I'm not seeing many of them guys. I'm still seeing like Mike Tyson pop up, uh, Muhammad Ali, um, AJ I think has completely disappeared after we took him out in round three. Uh, that was a crazy fight, but yeah, I think AJ is done, <laughs> just saying. But yeah, let's, uh, let's just keep going. Uh, obviously Tyson hits like a freaking truck, so we've got to kind of cover up a little bit more here. I'm scared we're going to get knocked out in sparring. There we go. We're trying to grind it and get these uh, get these points up. I need 40,000 for a champion training. It looks like we're going to get there, to be honest. We keep getting hit flush by Mike Tyson, though. That is a scary thing, because this dude hits like a freaking truck. There we go. Nice check there. I don't know, man. The seconds are going down, and we're not really doing much. I'm kind of scared we're not going to get champion training, but there you go. It is what it is, man. Big shot by Mike Tyson there. Let's go. Toe to toe, man. These guys... I think there's a mutual respect there, obviously having fault, but they, uh, they're they still trying to outscore each other. Mike Tyson, if that had landed, bro, we would have gone night nights. <laughs> we would have been asleep with a dummy in our mouth, man. We'd have been out cold. Okay, come on, get 40 points. 40k is what we need. Nice. I'm sitting back now, man, waiting for that clock to run down. Let's go. Nice. 41k, that is exactly what we need. Let's go. Okay, so we've got champion training. Beautiful. Now we need to go and uh, do a little bit of athletic stuff, and then we are ready for the fight. So we're going to go for two speed um, with some shadow box in there. We're also going to go for a bit of stamina, and then we are going to rest. Then we are going to go and fight Danny Moore and hopefully remain champion of the heavyweight division. Now, we are max stamina, so I'm going to go for... Let me max strength for it a tiny little bit. We're going to go for some uh, reflex. Let's go for some reflex in uh, tennis ball catching. And now we are 20% in terms of fitness. Now we're going to rest, then we're going to fight. Hopefully we just take this man out. I think we could get him out of there early. Um, he has lost a, very, a fair few times before. Seven losses. Uh, James Lawrence only losing once. This is his uh, 31st fight. Obviously 29 and 1. I, I think hopefully we can be 30 and 1 after this. That would be freaking crazy. James Lawrence, a very, very accurate puncher. Um, he was meant to be like an inside fighter, but now I've kind of had it where he's like evolved over his career. So he, he went from a brawler to like a guy that is very accurate with his shots. And hopefully in this episode, we're going to see more accurate punches. But here we go. James Lawrence getting backed up early by Danny Moore. Danny Moore, not a great fighter really. 28 and 7. Still is decent, I guess. But it's all about this man that has the belt. Obviously, yeah, fighting for his belt. It's all about if James Lawrence can perform. Okay, he's, he's ramming them straights in. Danny Moore, what I have seen so far, he has a freaking chin. Nice straight counter there. James Lawrence, accurate as always. Trying to slip in them hooks every time. Working James Lawrence's body a little bit. Nice. Nice pull counter. Okay, okay. He's throwing a lot of shots. Don't know how many he's landing, necessarily, but he's throwing a lot. James Lawrence there, beautiful counter as he comes in. The champion looking... So good so far. Cuts land. A few more for good measure. Oh, I tried to pull that. That would have been a nice shot. Nice. There we go. 
Good shot to the body there from James Lawrence as well. Danny Moore trying to hold on in the first round. Good straight. And another. So I kind of like it when the fights are a little bit longer, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Like, I prefer it when they're a bit longer. It's a little bit more entertaining. There is a little bit more at stake when the fight goes longer. If, if we get him out early, I mean, James Lawrence is just doing what he's done all his freaking career as he stuns Danny Moore in the first round, throwing everything to get him down. Let's go. Picking his shots nicely here. James Lawrence unable to drop him. Nice. Good defense by Danny Moore there. Now, we did waste quite a bit of stamina there trying to get into the floor, so I'm going to try and reserve some. A little bit. I'm going to pick my shots, hold the counters, and uh, we'll see how we do. Just trying to work that body. Coming up top with a nice left hand there. Nice straight. Nice hook. Really just trying to pull these shots. There we go. First round, definitely James Lawrence's round. 4% recovery. Not great. But I feel like this next round, we can get some more stamina back. Let's go. Nice jab. Nice straight. Lawrence boxing very well. Shots to the body there. Nice shot from Moore, though. Let's go. I'm going to land that straight. Nice hook. Nice right counter there. Let's go. Uppercut and a hook follow behind it. Let's go. James Lawrence getting in his groove now. Let's go. Another straight to the face. And again. Danny Moore does a really weird job of covering up sometimes, but then some shots he should really cover up from. That he's getting hit with all fight long. He doesn't cover up. It's, it's a bit weird. But like we've been landing that straight at will. And the hook as well for the most part. Nice hook there. Lawrence slips under his punch as well. Nice, beautiful defense there from James Lawrence. The champion seems like so far isn't missing a beat. Nice, okay. Oh, good slip there from Moore. Good hook from Lawrence. Timing it very well. Another straight and another. Nice, nice. Let's go. Three piece now. Got to kind of watch the stamina a little bit. Nice. No one landing anything here. Oh, Lawrence snaps his head back. Danny Moore is hurt. Lawrence windmilling, trying to get him down. This dude has some very good defense. I don't know if it's going to last all fight long, but so far, man, he has been able to just kind of repel Lawrence's attack a little bit. Good body shot there. You heard that one. Okay, boom. Trying to be accurate here, man. Good body shot. Digging it into Moore's rib cage. Let's go. Nice hook. Rolling it over. Countering there for straight as well. Nice. Lawrence throwing so many punches. Needs to kind of watch his stamina here. It's only round two. But saying that, every round we have rocked him in. So, are we doing a bad enough job? I don't know. Another 4% recovery. Not actually quite great. That is kind of bad. Let's go. Gonna try and just jab. Oh, a beautiful straight counter though. Both of these guys not really taking much of a back step. Nice, we dropped him finally. He goes down in round number three. Let's go, a beautiful straight, done the job. He is down, but is he gonna get up? I feel like he's gonna get up pretty easily. If he doesn't, what is his legs like, man? Because he needs to get up from one knockdown. Usually it takes about three, maybe two, depending on the severity of the knockdown. Here we go. James Lawrence landing another counter here. Just pushing forward. Trying to work that body there. We've dropped him in round three. Another straight counter there. Beautiful, beautiful counter work there by James Lawrence. Another hook. Another counter. He's hurt. This could be all over. James Lawrence puts him down again. Is it enough to keep him there, though? I have no idea. Beautiful shot through the guard. Lands to the chin of Danny Moore. Is it enough to keep him down? I don't know. It is enough. James Lawrence is now 30-1 and, and still the champion. Let's go. What a win for your boy, James Lawrence. Winner by KO. A big, big win for him here. A crazy knockout in round number three. Who do we fight? This is the question. Who do we go in there with now? I want to fight Muhammad Ali. I feel like it's time. It is the right time. that We have no uh, title defenders. Uh, we have Muhammad Ali here. He's 1-3 in his last fucking five. Jesus. Okay, so we have, uh, yeah, we're going to go with Muhammad Ali just because he's the greatest of all time. Let's go, man. Muhammad Ali v. James Lawrence. It's about to go down. Here we go. Muhammad Ali v. James Lawrence is about to take place in Boardwalk Hall. This could be a clash of the titans. Muhammad Ali, one of my favorite fighters. And this is crazy, man. I don't know how we're going to beat him because he's such a good fighter, man. Uh, it's just going to be so tough, but let's go. 
Let's go. Okay. It's going to be a chess match between these boys. Let's go. James Lawrence just looking to walk him down. I don't know if James Lawrence has it in him to beat the greatest of all time. I don't know. We're going to need to pick our shots. We know that. Let's see. Muhammad Ali. Very good defensively. So good with his punches. This is going to be interesting. James Lawrence looking to go to the body early. Tandaloki does with all of his other fights, but Muhammad Ali is one of them guys that it can move. He can avoid all of these shots. So we kind of need to slow him down. I feel like we're going to do that. Cracking him with a few good counters. I think we're winning this round. That's a straight counter there from James Lawrence. Let's go. Roll it over. Nice. Okay, he's holding on, man. I don't know if he's hurt. I don't think he's hurt. Muhammad Ali has a chin steel, but there you go. Nice straight counter there. Beautiful. That would have knocked out anybody else, man. But Muhammad Ali is one of a kind. Another straight. Trying to back him up. We're outboxing him a little bit. But this dude will keep coming for 12 rounds. So I'm kind of scared. This video will probably be a long one. I did want to fight him though. James Lawrence could have made a huge mistake here. Because if he does lose to Muhammad Ali, he will obviously lose his belt. Uh, he could have fought for another belt. He could have easily tried to be a two belt champion in this division. Or even a three. But he decided to take the hard road and fight a legend. And uh, that is what we're seeing here. Just trying to go to the body here. Muhammad Ali landing a perfectly good straight there. Let's go. James Lawrence, the smaller man. Oh, nice. Nice work from both men there. Getting out of the way of them shots. Both of them are very evasive. That is something that is, uh, that is a definite thing throughout this uh, career mode. Both of these guys are very, very good at slipping punches, moving well. And uh, both guys didn't really get much stamina back. Harley with three uh, or five and James Lawrence with three. So let's go. Nice, nice jab. And again. Trying to land that uppercut. Trying to move well. So far, I don't know. It's kind of a... Uh, Kind of a chess match between these guys. Good straight there by Lawrence. Lawrence not putting in too much uh, pressure like he was in the first round. We're just going to try and back up. We're going to try and take it easy. This is going to be a war. So, yeah, I kind of want to kind of want to slow it down a little bit. Oh, if that counter would have landed. I'm not too sure it would have even buckled Muhammad Ali. He's a beast. Nice straight again. Lawrence has got some very good timing. Very, very good timing. His reach is kind of letting him down here, though. Both men throwing shots. Not many landing on either side. Big, big shot there. Anyone else, they would have gone down. Ali, a chin of steel, man. Absolute granite chin. Let's go. Good straight. Missing. Both men missing quite a bit here. Lawrence is going to have to stick to his jab a little bit. To score some punches. Nice two hooks there. Let's go. Stamina for both men not looking great. Nice slip there from Lawrence. The straight isn't really used well in this fight so far. It's the reach for James Lawrence. Kind of letting him down. He wants to fight on the outside, but he's unable to because of the reach. This guy pushing forward. Ali looking tired. Good shot to the body there. Lawrence knows he's hurting. Nice. Kind of fighting like Joe Frazier here. Oh, beautiful hook there. And a straight follow behind it. Let's go. This is everything I hoped for, man. A freaking war between these guys. Let's go. Nice straight from Lawrence there. Let's go. Backing up. Nice straight again. Got to kind of think about how we do things in this fight because he is such a tricky fighter. 10% recovery. So far, so good for James Lawrence here. A big, big performance for him. Let's go. Round three coming up. I don't know if James Lawrence has won every round, but I feel, I feel like he's won most of them. I feel like he's been the more efficient puncher. Good jab there from Lawrence. Coming back though, Muhammad Ali. A big shot there. Nice counter from Muhammad Ali. He's hard to hit, man. He's very hard to hit. Okay, let's go. Trying to back him up here. This is a good, good fight. Ali looking like he's winning this round so far. If any man can beat James Lawrence, take him into deep waters. And beat him. It is this man. In right, in, right in front of us. It is this man. Tried to slip counter. Didn't even land. Fuck. And again, Ali. Some beautiful head movement. Every time we throw that straight, he just moves his head back a tiny bit. And gets out the way. Caught in there, though. We've got to back him up. We're losing a lot of stamina trying to land. 
Nice count to the body there from Muhammad Ali. Let's go. The greatest in his biggest test so far. James Lawrence. Is he the toughest fighter he has fought? I don't know, man. He's got some very good movement. He fights well. Um, I don't know. Ali definitely, definitely the favourite in this fight. James Lawrence the underdog and James Lawrence is the dude with the title. So this is crazy. Just trying to whoop him here. And that's some body shots. Not looking to throw too many because I don't want to get rope a dope like George Foreman did. Speaking of George Foreman, where the hell is he? I want to fight all of these guys, but unfortunately they're not here. Now, Muhammad Ali's stamina is something for him to worry about. James Lawrence is okay-ish. But Muhammad Ali is missing a few shots as well. Good counter there from James Lawrence. Again, probably would have rocked someone, someone else, but Ali has a chin of steel. I see Joe Frazier land that crazy left hook. I think it was in the, was it the first fight or the second? And uh, Ali, it, it would have killed anybody else, but Ali just jumps up like it is nothing. 7%, 12%, okay. Okay, so far. James Lawrence winning every round. Muhammad Ali is going to get a little bit desperate here. James Lawrence can kind of take a few rounds off, man, to be honest. I'm kind of just thinking about our stamina because no one's even been rocked in this fight. No one's gone down. No one's been rocked. We could be here for 12, to be honest. Okay, just sitting in nice and, uh, nice and calm. Just trying to stay relaxed. Trying to, trying to just pick my shots, you know. Muhammad Ali, the best fighter we have ever fought. Obviously, Mike Tyson is up there as well. I think it is out of them too. Tyson, by now, I think we had him out of there. Ali, a different different breed, man, in terms of boxing style. And Lawrence just trying to sit on him and just wait for him to make a mistake or make a move. And then we're counter. Don't really want to take it to him too much. Nice. Nice. Lawrence kind of waiting for a mistake here. Not making many, though. Muhammad Ali keeping it tight with the boxing. Another straight lands, though. Lawrence landing them little pop shots, them little jabs. They're working. Nice jab. Come in there with a nice straight. Let's go. What a fight this has been so far. Muhammad Ali is rocked, though. James Lawrence with a beautiful counter. And the greatest is down. What a shot. James Lawrence timing it perfectly. A complete switch to what was happening. A chess match turns into a knockdown. Muhammad Ali back to his feet. Is it enough to keep him down? He jumps straight back up. It could be stamina. He could be fatigued. James Lawrence walking forward now with all the confidence in the world after dropping Muhammad Ali here. Let's go. The fourth round has proved to be James Lawrence's best round, putting him on the floor. Is it enough? I don't think so. I think we need to land a few more big shots to drop him again. There we go. A good, good round for James Lawrence. Going to back up here. Ahmed Ali. Not looking good, man. I mean, we put him on his ass, man. That's not good. There we go, though. We got some stamina back for that. 10% recovery. Let's go. More stamina now than Muhammad Ali. Beautiful left hand there. Is he going to get sloppy? Stamina is depleting rapidly. He could be getting sloppy here. Another straight. It doesn't seem like he's getting sloppy. It seems like he's getting more active, to be honest. Nice straight hook there. Another counter to the dome. Muhammad Ali just shakes it off. Chin of steel. What a fight so far. These guys are going at it. And he goes down again. James Lawrence puts him down in the fifth. Is it enough? I don't think so. I think he's going to get straight back up. Like I said, chin of steel. I think he's getting up. He gets straight back up like nothing even happened. James Lawrence must be feeling a little bit disheartened now because most people are out cold by now. Let's go. Lawrence fighting smart though. Fighting very, very smart. Muhammad Ali's stamina not really there. Another left hand there. Beautiful, beautiful left hook. Still not enough to keep him down though. What have we got to do to take out Muhammad Ali? Let's go. He's down again. A jab uppercut. Beautiful shot there. Jab coming up with the next punch. Boom. Right to the chin of Muhammad Ali. Is it enough though? I don't think so. I still think he's going to get up. Maybe not. I don't know. He's getting up a little bit too quickly. He has been stopped in the fifth. James Lawrence has done it again. He has proven he is arguably now one of the greatest of all time. Muhammad Ali there. When do you see that? 
He has defended his belt. He has taken all risks in this fight and came out on top. What a fight this has been. That was an absolute war. I would be down for a rematch with that dude. What a fight. What a war. Let's go. That was a crazy, crazy win. Three knockdowns in round number five. That dude has a chin of steel. And he threw 251 head punches because jo uh, James Lawrence's head movement is so good, man. He's kind of hard to hit. He landed 71 out of 200 odd punches thrown. So that is crazy. Who do we want to fight for now? We've got some promo events here. Who do we want to fight? That is down to you guys. Let me know in the comments below of this video. We have so many options. Do we want the rematch with Muhammad Ali? We can't even fight him. That is kind of sad, to be honest. Do we fight Cedric Pierce? This dude's 31 and 7. He has the other belt in this weight class. Danny Moore, we have already beat. Ezekiel Gibson, he is 30 to, uh, 34 and 2, which is a very decent record. Uh, or do we fight Tommy Morrison, another legend? So let me know down in the comments below. But for today's video, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so damn much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash the like button, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you for more Fight Night Champion next time. So tell some guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you all again in the next video.